freedom, flexibility, and adventure are all things you want in your career. There's so many people that I speak to that really are searching for just that in their careers. And usually they're a little bit younger and that's exactly how I was when I was, you know, in my twenties and even thirties, I was looking for adventure and creativity and there's nothing wrong with that. And I wanted to hop on here today because I got inspired by somebody that I had a call with and he has an amazing career. He is a guide, um, a, a wilderness guide. So he is, you know, whitewater rafting and taking people through the jungles. And he's traveling all over the world, New Zealand and all these fabulous places. And he's been doing this since he was in his 20s. And now he's, you know, getting closer to 40 and he's really reassessing what it is that he wants now, even though he still loves, you know, the adventure and meeting people and connecting with people. He's really looking for more stability and to be around friends and family and to create more of a base. And what that tells me and what I've experienced by being a career coach is that as we're moving through our careers, it is more of an evolution rather than a destination. So if you think about it that way, um, you know, a lot of people I speak to are unhappy, right? Well, there's ways to kind of deal with that unhappiness in looking at your current situation and being like, okay, what am I learning here? How am I growing? And have I outgrown this phase of my life? Have my values changed, right? So there's things that you want to look at as you are evolving throughout your career. So I always want you to be thinking of it as a journey rather than a destination. And, you know, many of us are seeking that freedom and that flexibility and that exhilarating career in the beginning. And like I said, as we're growing older, our priorities shift and maybe we want more stability um, and long-term goals and aligning our work with deeper values and responsibility and the transition can definitely be challenging, but it also offers an opportunity for more growth and fulfillment. And so how do we navigate this shift? So there's a few lessons that I pulled out from this conversation with this uh, gentleman. And first it's really recognizing and accepting change. So understanding that it's natural um, for our career goals to evolve. And what, you, what excited you at 25, might be different at 45 and you know that's okay the second thing to think about is or to do is really to reassess your values and your strengths and your skills but mostly looking at the values because you know they change and they shift over time you know uh, so that's really important to to dive into. And if you haven't done values work, definitely reach out to me um, because it's so important to help you be a little bit more decisive in your life and career. And you really want to reflect on what's important to you. You know, is it more work-life balance? Maybe you were a hustler back in your 20s and early 30s. And now it's like, oh my God, I'm thinking more about family now, creating a family and and being able to create more time for my passions and not make work the priority anymore. Um, the third thing is to seek out opportunities that align with your current priorities, right? So this might mean transitioning into another industry. It might be pursuing you know, education or upskilling, or maybe even starting your own business, which I did when I turned 44. Um, so I was working in corporate for 20 years and I made that transition in my forties. Um, so just be open to creating change and seize those new opportunities as they come forth. And then finally, it's really investing in your personal growth. So continuous learning and self-improvement um, are definitely crucial. And, you know, do you need that formal education or picking up personal projects, passion projects, um, and just keep expanding your skills and your knowledge. So sure, embracing, you know, careers that are flexible, 
Um, but your your priorities shift, as I shared. And so you need to adapt as you are growing older and wiser and to be a little bit more agile as you're as you're moving through your career. And um, you know, this gentleman really was inspiring to me because what he was sharing, I see, you know, white water rafting and being able to take these people on amazing experiences and him guiding them through that and him being out there in the wilderness and experiencing all these amazing things, but just seeing that his priorities are shifting and that he wants more stability and he wants to create more of a, a base in the U.S. and but to continue using his skills but building on his experience and really what he loves. So hopefully I'll get to work with him and really figure out what his next, you know, career move is going to be and really helping him um, fulfill his, his life goals. So I wanted to share that with you today. And if you took anything away from this, please, you know, post in the comments what you're taking away and if you are feeling stuck in your career and you are wanting a change and you don't know exactly what that looks like, I can help. I take people through a deep exploration um, into themselves before we do anything outward. I find that people that come to me are going straight to the job boards when they don't have clarity about what it is that they want. So we need to get clarity first before we can do anything else. So if you're looking for that kind of support, I'm gonna invite you to book a free 15 minute call with me so we can really connect and I can learn more about your goals and um, if we can work together. So I'll post that below this video and I'll see you in the next video.